Hello, my lovely fans. It is another beautiful day as I welcome you once again to Medalize TV. So, as you're already aware, the topic that you have been treating is measurement. And then, under this measurement, we already look at the total surface area of a square base pyramid, the total surface area of a cube, and then the total surface area of a keyboard. So, this time around, we are going to look at the total surface area of a cylinder. Now, when we talk about a cylinder, this is an example of a cylinder, and this is the net of a cylinder. So looking at the net of the cylinder, we have a circle here, another circle, and then a rectangle. So now we are going to look at the three types of cylinders that we have, and then how to find the total surface area. So to find the total surface area, we look at the kind of cylinders that we have, and then the formulas that we use to find their total surface areas. Now, when you look at the first one, we have a cylinder closed at both ends. So closed at both ends, this is what we have. So this will be the next, since it is closed, we have a circular top and then a circular base. Now, when you look at the rectangle that we have here, now this is my cylinder. It is closed here and then it is closed at the top. And when you open it, this side becomes the circumference. So once it is like this, there's this time around this place is the circumference or the perimeter here is the circumference. Now for us to find the area of this circumference, we use the formula 2 pi radius. So when you look at this, we have two cycles here. How do we find the area of the cycle? So we take the first one, the area of the cycle is pi radius square. And this also what? Pi radius square. So when you look at this, since this side is a circumference, this is the height. Or when you look at the cylinder, this is the height of the cylinder. So after taking the after opening it, what is left is what is the circumference. So this one is the circumference of the cylinder. So the circumference, we use the formula 2 pi radius. So the 2 pi radius is what we use to find the circumference of what? The cycle. So since this is the edge, so the area of this rectangular shape of a cylinder is 2 pi radius times what? The edge. So the circular base or the circular top, pi radius square and another pi radius square. Now let's come to the a cylinder close at what? One end. So this cylinder is close at what? Only one end. So looking at this, we have what? A circle and then the rectangle. And we know that the rectangle, to find the area of this rectangle, is the 2 pi radius h and then the radius of this circular base is the pi radius square so we come to the third one a hollow cylinder that means the cylinder is what opened at both ends it's not closed at any end open at both ends so when it is open at both ends like i've said this is the circumference and this what the height so it Total surface area is going to be what? 2 pi radius h. The total surface area of the cylinders that we have. Now, when we come to a cylinder close at both ends, so we have the first one, pi radius square plus another pi radius square plus 2 pi radius h. So, 2 pi radius in the area of this side. So, let's see what we have. So, looking at this, the pi radius square, there are two. So you can say 2 pi radius square plus 2 pi radius h. So the 2 pi radius square, this radius, pi radius square, and another pi radius square. So when you add the two, you have a 2 pi radius square plus 2 pi radius h. Now having this, we have to factor out, or we have to factorize. So looking at this, we have two here, 2 is there, so 2 out, we have pi, we have another pi, so pi out as well. So here we have radius, and another radius is here as well. So we have the radius, then into bracket, here the radius is squared. Since we have one here, that means we are left with another one. So the radius plus, since we have all this here, we, have, we are left to solve the h. So the radius plus the h. So this is the formula for finding the total surface area of a cylinder close at what? both ends. 
the total surface area of a cylinder post at both ends, we use this formula. This is the formula for finding the total surface area of a cylinder closed at what? One end. So if the cylinder is closed at one, one end, this is what we have. So we have pi radius square plus 2 pi radius h. Pi radius square plus 2 pi radius h. So looking at this, so we have pi here, we have another pi, we have radius and the radius are there. So we have to what? Further out. So pi radius out. Then we are left with what? A radius here. So radius plus. So we have the pi radius out. Then we are left with what? 2h. So that is the formula for finding the total surface area of what? A cylinder close at what? Both ends. Now when we come to a hollow cylinder, it is what? Open at both ends. So we are left with only this. So the formula is the 2, two pi radius h. So now we are going to take a question and solve it using the three formulas. So the question we have is, a cylinder has a radius of 7 cm and a height of 10 cm. Find its total surface area when it is A, close at both ends, B, close at one end, and C, hollow. So we are going to take them one by one and then solve them. So if the cylinder is closed at both ends, then we use the formula pi radius square, pi radius square, and then plus 2 pi radius h. So we use the first one. From the question, our radius is 7 centimeters. Height, which is 10 centimeters. And then the pi, we are going to use 22 out of 7 as the pi. Pi is 22 out of 7. Than the radius square. So the radius is 7 centimeters plus another 7 centimeters plus another pi radius square. So 22 out of 7 times the pi 7 centimeters. Then plus 2 pi radius h. So 2 Cancel 7, then we are left in 7 times 22, that will give us 154 centimeters square plus 7, we we'll cancel 7 here, then we will have the same 154 centimeters square plus, so this 7, we we'll cancel this 7 as well, so we have 2 times 22 give us what? 44, 44 times 10 will give us 440 centimeters square. So when we add 54, 154 to another 154 plus 440 centimeters square, we are going to have 748 centimeters square of a cylinder that is close at both ends if the radius is 7 centimeters and the height is 10 centimeters. So we are going to use the other formula to solve and see if you get the same result. So let's use this formula to, to find the total surface area of a cylinder closed at what? Both ends. So from the question, our radius is 7 centimeters by 22 out of 7 and then the height is 10 centimeters. The pi was not given so we are using 22 out of, out of what? 7. So let's put the values in. So 2 times pi 22 out of 7 times the radius, which is 7 centimeters. Then into bracket the radius plus the h. So the radius is 7 centimeters plus the h, the height, which is 10 centimeters. So when you look at it from here, this 7 will cut to this 7, then we are left with 22, 2, 2 times 22. That will give us. 44 centimeters. Then to bracket 7 centimeters plus 10 centimeters to give us what? 17 centimeters. 17, 44 centimeters times 17 centimeters and to give us what? 748 centimeters or square. So 748 centimeters square. So that is the area of what? 
the total surface area of a cylinder close at what? Both end. So now let's look at a cylinder being close at what? Only one end. So if the cylinder is close at one end, we have the circle and then the rectangle. So the circle is what? Pi radius square plus the rectangle, the area of the circle and then the area of the rectangle, which is 2 pi radius each. So when we look at this, the pi radius square plus 2 pi radius each. Pi radius out and then radius plus what? 2 each. So we are going to put the values in to get our result. So we have 22 out of 7 times 7 centimeters into bracket 7 centimeters plus 2 times 10 centimeters. So we will cancel the 7 that we have here. Then we have 22 centimeters. Then into the bracket 2 times 10 will give us what? 20. And then the 20 plus 7 will give us 27 centimeters. So the 27 centimeters times 22 centimeters, it will give us. 500 and it will give us 594 centimeters squared. 594 centimeters squared. That means the cylinder is close at what? One end. So we are now going to look at a cylinder that is what? Hollow or open at what? Both end. Two pi radius each. That is the circumference and then the height each. So two pi radius each. And then from the question, we have the radius as 7, pi 22 out of 7. We have taken that on our own. Then the radius, the height is what? 10 centimeters. So let's put the figures in 2 pi. And the radius. Then the height, which is 10 centimeters. So from there, this 7, we cancel the 7 here. Then we have 2 times 22. 2 times 22, we have the 44 centimeters times 10 centimeters. So 44 times 10 will give us 440 centimeters squared. So this 440 centimeters squared is the total surface area of a cylinder that is open at what both ends if the radius is 7 centimeters and the height is 10 centimeters. So now we come to volume of a cylinder. So we want to find the volume of the cylinder. First we find the area of the base here, then times the height. So this is circular, so the area will be pi radius square, then times what? The height. So from here we can deduce that the volume of a cylinder, volume, is giving us Pi radius square each. Look at this. So here the radius is 7 centimeters, the height is 10 centimeters, and then the pi is 22 out of 7. Find the volume. So you say the volume is what? Pi radius square each. So from there you can put the values in. So the pi 22 out of 7 times radius square. That means the radius times the radius. So if the radius is 7, so 7 centimeters times another 7 centimeters times the height and the height here is 10 centimeters so 10 centimeters so from there what do we have? so 7 will cancel the 7 here or it can cancel the first one so 22 times 7 will give us 154 centimeters squared then times 10 centimeters so 154 centimeters squared times 10 centimeter is going to give us 1540 is going to give us 1540 centimeters cube area is measured in what in cubic units so if the radius is 7 the height 10 and the pi is 22 out of 7 definitely the volume is 1540 centimeters cube Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Remember to subscribe to this channel, Menalize TV. Menalize TV when the sun rises. Thank you so much.